Hey, my name's Jake, and for this video, I'll be showing you how to organize your samples so that they don't distort when you use them with the EXS24. So first things first, I'm going to demonstrate the issue, then I'll give you the solution. The issue is that when you get a sample, and it says that it's, it's uh, bits per samples 32, logic does not read that. So when you try to drag the samples into an EXS24 sampler instrument, it's going to fuck up pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag these samples into iTunes so you can hear them out. I just need to control the volume I'm using my interface. So this is what the first three samples in my sample pack sound like. Just remember that. Now I'm going to drag these samples onto an EXS24 instrument. What you just heard, and you'll see what the problem is. Now, mind you, these are 32-bit. This is why it's occurring. So I drag the samples. I just click contiguous, contiguous zones, because I'm using drums as an example. And then save this. Uh, oh my god, dope samples. Okay. Um, I will now play them. One, two, three. What you heard earlier. And I need to lower the volume, and you'll see what the issue is. This is what they sound like now. Okay, so how do we make sure this never happens again? I only found one workaround. And by the way, thank you, George, for asking this question. I only found one workaround. So I open up another instrument, I click the EXS24, and I go to my file browser. I click all files, click my home button, go to the designated folder where the sample pack is located, which is my download folder. Here's the sample pack. Now I click the samples, we use the first three kicks, so I highlight them. I right click, add selected audio files to project audio. Click project, you will see these three folders, I mean three samples. Press command A to select them all, right click or, uh, or press uh, control K. I'm just gonna press copy convert files. And I'll click desktop, just make a folder and say EXS24 clean converted samples, create that, and just save. So now when you save, just open up your EXS24, when you save it and you look at your desktop, now it has a folder with the three converted files. You know that they're converted when they say negative uh, 24B. So when you click edit, you're ready to bring in the converted samples in. Press F to bring in the file browser. Click all files. If you want to find it again, click the home button. Go to your desktop because that's where you saved the folder. Click the new folder, highlight them, and just drag. Same process. And now when I play them, they should be working fine. So every time you get a new sample pack, you know, you could just, you, you could literally quickly highlight everything. Oh, sorry about that. Add the files, and again, just convert. Just replace anything. You get the point. So now it works. Let me just save. I don't really care what I save it as. The last thing I need to let you guys know is that you will know if a, to identify if a kick sample is in 32-bit and if you, you don't want to read each little file. Just find it on your file browser and click the audition button. If it doesn't play, if you don't hear a sample, that means that it's in 32-bit. Anyhow, I hope this video helped. There's a helicopter, so I'm getting annoyed. And take care.